Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As you probably all know, the Steam Deck has been announced and to be very honest with you, I have been waiting for 25th February for a really long time. I was about to sleep, it was 11.30 p.m. in India and uh, I couldn't sleep. I checked out everybody's videos. I stayed awake till 1.30 a.m. in the morning. Point is, I don't have a Steam Deck with me because it's not available in India and I am not a reviewer. Uh, so, but my contribution to you guys would be to actually show you how the desktop UI for the Steam Deck would look. So without further ado, let's get acquainted with KDE Plasma. Now this is the desktop environment that the Steam Deck would be using. As you can see, if you are coming from uh, a Windows world, uh, so this would be kind of familiar to you. As you can see, uh, there is a taskbar at the bottom. You have your start menu. You have a few pinned apps. You have your uh, calendar times and you have your show desktop. We're going to go through all of this. And But before that, before jumping into the video, I just want to say that I want to uh, come to this video from the perspective of a user who has used Windows for all of his life and is not really acquainted with the Linux desktop environments or the Linux kernel. Uh, so this is going to be a not so deep dive, but first impressions of how KDE Plasma would look if you are using the Steam Deck uh, with a with an external monitor and a keyboard, or even if you enter the desktop UI on the Steam Deck screen itself. Right off the bat, we're going to start from the right. So this is your show desktop. So let's say you have an app open, for example, Firefox. If you click on this button, it'll show you the desktop. It'll take you back. All right, and this is where you have your calendar. So you can have your date, months, years. Uh, you can configure digital clock. You can pin this. You can keep it open or, or not. And if you click this, you could show your hidden icons. So this is kind of like Windows where you click that tiny little arrow and it shows you the other things. You have notifications, clipboard, night color control, power management, KDE Connect, lock key status. KDE Connect is a very... Uh, powerful software. It's kind of like Windows. It, it's kind of like what Windows does where you can sync your phone with the computer and you get your notifications. You can browse your apps, your pictures, uh, and other things. So this is kind of like that, but this is also very powerful, but this is for another video. Uh, you have your internet, you have USBs plugged in. This is your volume. So in here, you can see this is line out, line in and you can raise the maximum volume so you can over amplify and you also have applications i don't have anything running but if you did you would have been able to control the levels for each of those applications individually and as you can see you have a lot of granu granularity in here okay uh now we're done with that uh these are penned apps so that's great. Uh, we're going to go through them, uh, but this is the start menu. So if we start off, so this is the favorites. So your pinned apps are your favorites. Under all applications, you have a ton. This is your system. So over here, you have discover, which is the app center. Dolphin is the file manager, your info center. You have your partition manager. So basically, if you go to the disk management system inside Windows, you can manage your partitions uh, of the different disks uh, or drives that you have attached to your system. So this is kind of the same. Uh, you have system monitor in here. System monitor is kind of like task manager. So this shows you your overview, your applications, your history, processes that are running. As you can see, I am using one gigabyte out of the six gigs I allocated in this VM. And it's also using 10, 5% of my CPU. So that's that's very cool. And there is also a help center. So if anytime you feel like uh, you don't know anything, you could easily go for it. You also have sleep, restart, and shutdown, which is pretty self-explanatory. And under this banner, you have lock, logout, and switch user. So right off the bat, we're going to go to the file manager and we're going to check how it is. So coming from Windows land, file manager is kind of similar. So this is your home. So you have desktop, documents, downloads, music, pictures, templates, videos, basically like Windows. You can also change your appearance for compact view or for a list type view, but I like this, so we're going to stick with it. So yeah, this is 
more or less the same. And since we are in a window, uh, I'd also like to show you that if you go inside documents, you can click back. And uh, if you right click, you can choose where you want to go back. So as you can see, you had trash opened. So if I click on it, I'm going to go back to trash. Okay. Uh, and over here, you have your minimize, maximize, and close buttons, just like Windows. All right. So now that we're done with file manager, let's go ahead and open system settings. Now, Plasma is, as you can see, very much like Windows, but once you open system settings, there is a lot to take in. I'm not going to go over all of these. I'm just going to touch it lightly. Uh, you can explore this for yourself when you get your Steam Deck in hand, or if you can't wait, you could download uh, KDE Neon off the internet. I will leave a link down below in the description. So you could get familiarized if you really want to. And like I said, the Steam Deck as a secondary computer, or I don't know, maybe your primary computer if you so if you so wish, uh, this desktop environment is very, very good. It's actually one of my favorites uh, apart from GNOME. And if you don't know what the desktop environment term means, this is basically the user interface that a person is going to interact with. So your UI, basically. Okay, enough talk uh, under appearance. As you can see, you have your themes, so you can change from light theme to dark theme, and you can also have twilight. So this is a uh, this is a combination of dark theme and light theme, and also you have to apply for the themes to take effect. So dark theme looks pretty good, but for this video, we're going to stick to the light theme. Okay. So here you have application styles, so you can change how your applications look. You have your plasma style, so you can change how widgets look. Uh, and yeah, there are widgets. You can change your colors, your accent colors. You can choose from this list, or you can make your custom. You can have window decorations, fonts. You can change your icons, your cursors. Uh, there is a lot of stuff to go through here. So you can change your splash screen from here. You can also change your boot splash screen. So uh, this is very handy. You can also download new boot splash themes if you're interested. Uh, so yeah, uh, after appearance, you have workspace behavior. So if you want to change workspaces, let's say you have one for gaming and one for work, and you could do that. You could go into desktop effects, screen edges, touch screen, screen locking. A lot of things are in here. Uh, okay, so you can also configure your shortcuts, your startup and shutdown. And if you hover over these, uh, a very good thing is it'll tell you what it contains. So as you can see, it contains four items, login screen, auto start, background services, and the desktop session, which it's a very good approach because uh, Plasma can get overwhelming to a newcomer and having not having to not go to each of the menus and just hovering over them to see what's in there is it, a nice touch. Under personalization, you have your notifications, you can change your users. Under regional settings, you can change your locale, uh, accessibility. If we click on applications, you will see the default applications that are in here. So you can pick and choose what you want for your web browser, for your file manager, email client, map, etc., etc. So there are a lot of things in here. You even have your KDE wallet, which is wow. Uh, your network connections, uh, your settings, your firewall, there is a lot of thing in here. So that's it for system settings. And let's go to widgets. So you can add widgets. And oh, by the way, you have refresh desktop. Uh, I don't know why I have this bad habit of hitting F5 on my keyboard, knowing it does basically nothing. But then, well, if your OCD acts up, you know where to hit F5. Uh, even in Linux, which is which is amazing, uh, you can add widgets. So uh, here you can see. Let's try adding the analog clock. But before that, as you can see, we have a ton, a ton of widgets. Okay, uh, Windows 11. Mm, looking at you. Uh, anyway, let's not compare OSs here. We're not doing that. Uh, let's just uh, try to insert analog clock. So. Uh, as you have analog clock, but well, you want to drag it. You can't drag it, right? So right click and go to edit mode. Uh, 
as you can see, now you can swiftly drag your analog clock to the top right, and that is where I prefer my clock. And you also have a top bar, which will come up if you uh, go to the edit mode, which has configure desktop and wallpaper, uh, choose global theme and configure display settings. And oh, by the way, I would like to change my wallpaper for this video. Okay, so you have a ton of beautiful collections. Uh, let's see which one we want to go with. Mm, it's difficult. Uh, let's go with safe landing. Uh, apply. And, oh yeah, this, this looks amazing. Maybe a bit too vibrant for my taste, but anyway. Okay, so now we're going to go and try to uh, see how the installing of applications looks. So we're going to go to Discover. So this is your App Store or your App Center. And you have a ton of applications. Now, um, if you are not new to Linux, because this is an immutable system, this will only support flat packs as of now. But if you don't know what that is, a flat pack is basically like downloading a software off of the internet, but here uh, from a centralized place, your app center. And this will basically have hundreds if not thousands of apps and uh, for now you have to go to the app center to download an app let's say you want to download discord so you type in discord you hit enter and as you can see this is the flat pack and you can install discord but uh, what valve is working on is after a certain amount of time you won't have to go to the desktop mode to be able to install discord uh, you will directly be able to do it uh, through the steam ui so that's something which is which is pretty amazing. So uh, if we just go back out under applications, as you can see, uh, we have a lot of categories you can pick and choose. Uh, if you go back, uh, this is your application add-ons, your plasma add-ons. Uh, so these are your widgets. You have a ton of things. You have your color schemes, uh, comics, okay, cursors, global themes, login screen. Uh, splash screen, wallpaper plugins, a ton of things are in here. Uh, you can look for what you have installed on your system. Uh, you can go to settings and you can change a couple of things if you know what you're doing. Uh, okay, guys, so that was basically it. This is not meant to be a deep dive. Uh, and I can already tell the video is pretty long by now. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you receive your Steam decks as soon as you can. And if you are a Q2 gang. I wish you the very best of luck and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.